Five, a much welcomed addition to Chicago's Albany Park neighborhood, there's a newly completed massive tunnel that, combined with gravity, working together to end flooding that has plagued residents along the north branch of the Chicago River. Eyewitness News reporter Paul Mikey takes us down inside the tunnel. Here's where we're going, down this shaft. 150 feet down we go, where at the base we enter a tunnel that measures more than a mile in length. It's called the Albany Park Stormwater Diversion Tunnel. It is, in reality, an underground 18-foot diameter bypass tube designed to end flooding along the north branch of the Chicago River as it straddles Foster Avenue. One of the really cool innovations about this project is it's putting the water to the same place that the water would be going. This is why the tunnel came into being, flooding on the north branch between Springfield and Albany Avenues. That flooding has increased in severity and frequency because of human growth further north. From now on, when the north branch water level goes up here, the floodwaters will spill into this inlet and then drop to the tunnel. Simple gravity will push the water 5,800 feet through the tunnel, which runs directly below Foster Avenue. It'll then empty the water into the North Shore Channel instead of lingering where it's not wanted. There happens to be an elevation change between the inlet and the outlet, and the water just by gravity itself flows downhill, so it will solve the problem. It's a simple 12-foot drop. No buttons, pumps, or gates, just gravity. $70 million projects don't happen without big machines and big engineering. The 250-ton tunnel boring machine had to be lowered in pieces and reassembled to serve as a giant drill. For five months, it bored through limestone, finally breaking through at its bullseye point. A concrete lining is now done, and soon the tunnel will be able to swallow over a million gallons of flood water. The tunnel boring wrapped up in August, and while there's still some work to be done, the tunnel itself is scheduled to be operational come April. What's your level of confidence that, that when we do have that 100-year flood? That the home when this project is completed, the problem will be solved. So when the heavy rains come, the excess will be sent down the drain, a drain that runs 150 feet below Foster Avenue. Paul Meinke, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Now that 